This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting advanced features in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I explain what speech to text is in Premiere, then show you how to create transcripts from your sequences using it. Speech to text converts the audio dialogue in a sequence into text which can be read, exported, and edited. You can't transcribe individual clips. What you're really transcribing are the clips contained in a sequence. The transcript is attached to the sequence, not to the clips. Speech to text is free with your Adobe subscription. Transcripts can be created locally, though it requires Premiere 22.2 or later for it to be local, otherwise they get uploaded to the cloud. Transcripts can be exported or converted to captions. Audio files and voices that are uploaded to the crowd are transferred in encrypted fashion and stored encrypted and deleted from the Adobe servers when transcription is complete. Speech-to-text is privacy-focused and GDPR compliant. It supports 18 different languages. These are the languages that are supported. We're going to be working, obviously, with American English today, but you have lots of other choices. The workflow for a transcript is to create a sequence composed of selected clips. Again, you are always transcribing a sequence. You then create a transcript for the sequence. Then, if you want, you can edit or clean up that transcript in Premiere. You can then export that transcript for review or editing in any text editor. However, once it's exported as text, you cannot re-import the edited version back into Premiere. Export supports the PR transcript format, which is Premiere's proprietary format, which is used for transferring complete transcripts and their timing information from one editor to another. Also, it exports a TXT file and a comma-separated value file. Let me show you how transcripts work in Premiere. This is a series of clips, a bunch of selects that I put together. This is Dr. Vint Cerf in an interview I did. <laughs> way too long ago, uh, back in 2004, I think, and alcatel Lucent graciously shared the interview footage with me. He has a section in his interview where he talks about the interplanetary internet, how we get signals from the surface of Mars back to the surface of Earth. They've actually put together an internet that goes between planets, and there's a, a real challenge to getting that to work. So this is a series of answers that he gave that I want to transcribe to decide how I want to edit my documentary. What I've done is I've simply put the clips into a sequence, and with the sequence selected, that's important, go up to a new panel up here called Text, and you'll notice that I can create a transcription. Well, there's actually sort of a second way to do this. If you go up to the Sequence menu and go down here, notice that Auto Transcribe Sequence is grayed out. If I select the timeline first, then go to Sequence, notice that Auto Transcribe Sequence is now dark. And when I click it, it takes me to the text panel, the transcript section, and clicks the Transcribe Sequence button and opens up the Create Transcript window. Here you can specify the language that the spoken word is in, and you can say, yes, identify separate speakers, or no, don't separate speakers. There's my voice and Dr. Surf's voice, so I'm going to leave speakers separate. You can then select clips which are tagged as dialogue, or select a particular audio track, or the complete mix. But how did I get the clips tagged as a dialogue? What you do is you select the clips inside the timeline, go up to the workspace menu in the top right, and go down to audio. And when you do, you'll see a series of choices, the top of which is dialogue. You assign the dialogue label called metadata to those clips, and now I have told Premiere what my dialogue clips are, and I can do the same thing for ambience, for sound effects, which are short-term, and ambience is long-term and for music. And I can then apply settings globally to everybody in that group as opposed to having to work with it on a clip-by-clip -clip basis. So I've now flagged these as dialogue. I'll go back to the editing workflow. And again, I'll click on, go back to transcript and click on transcribe sequence. And I will transcribe the clips that are tagged as dialogue.
and click transcribe. This whole interview selects is about five and a half minutes long. The transcription takes about 15 seconds. It's being done locally on a 16-inch MacBook Pro with an M1 Pro chip in it. So it's faster, far faster than real time. And it's also stored locally, so I don't have to worry about sending files up to the web and bringing them back down again. When the transcription is complete, remember the transcription is assigned to the sequence, not to the clips. It appears in the text panel transcript button. First thing I want to do is to assign a speaker name. So I'm going to click on the speaker name and let's edit speakers. And the first speaker, we'll click the pencil tool, is Dr. Vint Surf. And click Save. This is the tail end of my question, are you doing? I was actually asking, what was it that got you started earlier in your career? Well, I don't need that for this, so I want to edit the text. All right, if I click on a word, it's going to jump me to that word in the transcript. So I'm going to double click here instead. And notice I'm double clicking outside the text, but inside the space reserved for the text. I'm going to select the text and delete it right there and then click anywhere, which makes that change stick. I can do a search. I want to find the word interplanetary. And as it goes through, interplanet. There we go. There's interplanetary and there's interplanetary. I can jump to or highlight that text in the transcript. I can also do a replace. For instance, here, notice the word figure. I want to replace the word figure with trying to, we're going to replace that by clicking this icon right here. Replace it with discover. And I can click replace and notice that the word discover was, the word figure was replaced with discover. Well, that's not really what he said. It should be figure. But I just wanted to show you that this replace works. And it works globally. I could replace a single occurrence or I could replace all the occurrences. That's my transcript. It's a rough transcript based upon all of my selects. It's by no means final. But I want to get it out so I can look at it. To do that, you click on the three dots, and we have several options. I can export the transcript, export a text file, or a CSV file. Let's take a look at all three. I'm going to export a transcript. This is in the PR transcript format, and we're going to put this down to the desktop. And this is proprietary. You can't open it up because every word is assigned its own timecode location so that you can find stuff by clicking on a word to jump into that part of the text. Let's export this as a text file. And we'll save that to the desktop again and click that. And then we'll go back to export a CSV file. And we'll save that to the desktop and click Save and move this out of the way. If I double click the PR transcript, it was just complete gibberish because it's trying to specifically tie in words and timing. It may be openable, but it's not readable. If I double click the text file, there is my transcript. Notice that it's sorted in time code blocks. It's assigned the speaker. And I can edit this text. But if I make edits to this text, there is no way to re-import that back into Premiere because all of the individual word timing is lost. So this should be edited for the purposes of sharing with clients or making decisions for yourself on what you want to edit. But should not, you just can't expect to bring it back into Premiere again. It won't work that way. There's also a CSV form which gives us a numbers or Excel spreadsheet where I've got the speaker in column one, the start time, the end time, and text. But now it's divided up into columns, which may be easier for you to work with depending upon what you need to do. So those are the three ways that we can export our transcript. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting advanced features in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 345.
By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.